Good morning guys. Welcome to Plashlights Performance Lighting here in Dickinson, Texas. We're honored to be here. Really want to thank CED for giving us this opportunity. Uh, we have some great products to show you today. Uh, one of them is brand new not only to the marine industry but to a consumer market. Uh, it's only been used in military, government, NASA, uh, never been brought to the consumer market. So uh, we're really honored to, uh, to have this product and to show you uh, what we bring for 2021. And we're really honored to be doing a trade show. It's been so long since we've done trade shows. So uh, I think it was Miami last year was the last one we did. Uh, so honored to be here. Um, let's get to it. If you have any questions at the end, I'd be more than happy to answer it. Uh, first product I want to tell you about is our carbon fiber deck light. It's so new, we don't even have a name for it yet. It's just called a carbon fiber deck light. We literally just made 48 of them yesterday. Uh, what's cool about it? Obviously it's carbon fiber, no corrosion, no dissimilar metals, no crumbling of cast aluminum. You don't have to worry about the coating of your, your anodized aluminum or anything like that. Very dependable, very sturdy, it's stout. Um, this is actually forged carbon fiber, so we don't have to worry about the woven and, and, and the pattern not fitting right. Uh, it's just a blend of all different chopped pieces of carbon fiber, so we can make it in a bunch of different uh, variations of sizes. So this forged carbon fiber, I'll show you some parts. It's just a little surface mounted deck light. Perfect for going under gunnels, center console boats, you put them on the side of the center console, they illuminate the walkway, under stairs, um, work boats, just a, an all around simple, fairly inexpensive um, illumination light. So uh, pretty, pretty basic, pretty simple. Uh, you can see how we put them together. We actually built all these right here in Dickinson, Texas. You're not going to find them outsourced anywhere else. They're not making them in China yet. Hopefully they don't. Just simple like this. We epoxy it all together. Uh, there, there's no fasteners at all here. Don't have to worry about it vibrating loose. Obviously you'd have the wire coming out there. Um, very, very, very simple basic design. Uh, this back plate is actually made out of the proprietary carbon fiber. Uh, this carbon fiber dissipates heat four times better than copper. Um, it really just, in the FLIR, just grabs that heat and, and breaks it away. So what does that mean to, to us? What does that mean for this product? Well, what it does is it grabs the heat from that LED chip that can only withstand a certain amount of temperature and it dissipates it away as fast as possible. Uh, overall, that's going to make this chip last longer, it's going to make this light last longer, and it's going to mean less warranties and an overall more satisfied customer. So that's the goal. The goal is to make something in America and make it last as long as possible. Um, so we also offer it in white. It's, uh, it's a little tricky making stuff in carbon fiber in white, we'll tell you that. Uh, it, it took a long time because you can't make carbon fiber in white. Uh, I tried. can't be done. You figure out a way, let me know. We tried fiberglass. We tried different resins and pigments. Uh, it cannot be done. So this is the same forged carbon fiber in black, hydro dipped in white. If you look at it real close, it's actually white carbon fiber, the hydro dipping. So um, I know we have to have white. It has to be pure white. It has to match that boat. Uh, this is the best we could do. And I'm... Um, pretty uh, satisfied with how it came out. It looks really cool, especially when the sunlight hits it. So um, <clears throat> when you compare this forged carbon fiber housing to, uh, this is actually a cast aluminum housing um, on a work boat. This guy, the dissimilar metals, you can see the coating's hard to get in there. You've got exposed aluminum, dissimilar metal, corrosion. Then you add in the saltwater elements. Uh, this thing will, will crumble. It can last just a couple months on a work boat. Somebody that doesn't care about cleaning it, they just care about getting stuff done. Um, this guy here, it's going to last until his LEDs go out. If it doesn't last 40,000 hours, 40,000 hours, 40,000 hours, I'd be shocked. So uh, really, really happy to, to bring this first product of our, our carbon fiber division uh, onto the market and um, hopefully we'll have plenty other carbon fiber uh, lights to follow. So uh, that's the carbon fiber deck light. Uh, it is available now. We're building them as the orders come in, and uh, I got a feeling we're going to be expanding to uh, keep up with the demand. So some of the other products I want to tell you about. This is our new X2 series light bar, uh, and, and it's really just a, a, a sister of the, the SR X2 series light bar. This is the single row. This is the double row. 
single row, sleeker, lower profile, double row, obviously it's brighter, it's bigger. Everybody's used to the double row. Well, what's cool, what's different, and I get this all the time. Well, I've never heard of flashlights. Um, what makes you different than rigid? You know, how are you better? Well, it, it's simple. Um, attention to detail, it's all in the details. Uh, this light is made for a boat. Uh, it's not made to go on a side-by-side. -side. We didn't make it for um, a work application. Um, it is made for a boat. So what makes a light bar specific for a boat? We just talked about corrosion. Corrosion's a huge one. Here, we've eliminated all the fasteners that you'd normally see on the face. Okay, well, Stephen, hey, that's great. Um, what does that mean? Well, less fasteners, less dissimilar metal, less exposed aluminum, less corrosion. It also serves a couple other purposes. Made it a little bit sleeker. So, change that design less exposed fins, you don't have to worry about a noise reducer, you don't have to worry about um, putting silicone in the back of it because it's making this terrible noise. Uh, I remember my first light bar, I literally wrapped my t-shirt around the burn bar and the light bar because it was making such a bad noise. Um, you don't have that problem with this. What else makes a light bar specifically for a boat? What makes it special for a boat? Beam pattern. The beam pattern is crucial, especially on a, a smaller center console. Um, something that doesn't have a hard top or even if it has a hard top that has a big bow you're gonna get that kickback on the bow might as well not even have the light on this fixes that uh, we can show you some pictures later of the beam pattern really hard to kind of capture in here with the camera but if you look at the reflectors and I'll grab this one that's disassembled the LED chips are here on the side the LED chips on the side they reflect they go out so think of a projector headlight in a car. You turn your headlights on, you've got this crisp beam and then all your light is down. That's essentially what we have here. It's a crisp beam of light. So we're putting the light on the horizon, we're putting it over here on the channel markers, we're putting it over here on the shore, we're not putting it on the bow, we're not putting it in the sky. So by, <clears throat> by focusing in this light, think of like an old mag light, you focus it in real tight, well then now you've got a, a really bright beam, but then you zoom it out and it's it's there, but it's not nearly as bright. Well, we focused it in where you need it. So it's, it's a lot brighter than a typical light bar that would use the same amount of wattage. So um, by being much brighter, focused in more, no reflection on the bow, you're actually gonna use this guy. It's gonna, it's gonna be a life safety device versus something that you turn on when you're docking or you turn it on when you're cruising, see where you're going, but you can't really turn it on when you're running. Our goal is to have this on while you're running, obviously no other boats around, we know what the Coast Guard says about that, um, but to have it on while you're running, be able to operate your vessel safely, if you see an obstruction, you see a floating buoy or something out of the way, you can navigate around it, never come off a plane. That's the goal, and I think we've accomplished it. I really love this single row, the SRX2 series, single row X2 such a low profile it fits right on that grab bar we have other mounts you can mount it from behind on the grab rail you won't even know it's there super sleek the amazing coating it's still an aluminum housing so we're obviously worried about the coating uh, put an amazing uh, axo noble uh, dual coat it's got uh, like a prep stage and then the final coat the powder coat um, fasteners we had to isolate the the metal the similar metals can't just put stainless with aluminum so it's actually stainless steel chrome coated same thing with the feet you go well that's that's not stainless steel you're right it doesn't look like stainless steel it's chrome coated stainless steel so it looks a little shinier uh, we offer them in black and white different colors different styles depending on where you're going to mount it uh, just ask the sales rep when you place the order um, these two lights right here uh, right now are available and a 20 inch for the single row and a 12 inch and a 20 inch for the double row. Uh, the larger sizes we'll have available in a couple months. This is a transom light. A lot of you guys are in Florida, you know all about underwater lights. Everybody has underwater lights in Florida. Uh, this is a new one. 
316 stainless steel. It's a little under four inches around, 3.8 I think to be exact. Um, but this is a, a dual color. So if you wanted blue and white, green and white, a lot of people here in Texas want blue for being cool, then they want green for fishing. So uh, we can do any color variation that you want, or you can just go with a single color, like a solid blue. Um, so 316 stainless steel, it's surface mounted. That's the only hole you're drilling. That's a 3 8 hole. Drill 3 8 hole, butter it up with 5200. This isolation gasket is if you're putting it on a, a metal hole, uh, so you won't need it on a fiberglass hole. Run your power wire, couple fasteners, you're done. Simple installation. Um, a lot of people are worried about drilling big holes, uh, through holes in, in their boat, especially new boats. With such a small hole like that, you shouldn't lose any sleep over it. So this product is available now. Um, one thing I, I didn't point out about our light bars, our new light bars, and really all of our products, uh, we try to make them for the installer. You give us the feedback, we're taking it. We're here to help you. Um, so we put nine feet of power wire on here. Uh, why, why nine feet instead of six feet or 12 feet? We found nine feet from a center console, hard top, a grab rail, nine feet sufficient enough, run it down uh, to your, your fuse, switch panel, whatever you're running it to. Um, and really our flexible light strips, our uh, surface mounted deck lights, our uh, spreader lights, everything is nine feet of power wire. Uh, if you need something custom, you want us to make it, build it with longer wire, sure, more than happy to do it. Um, probably won't ship that day, but we'll get it done for you. Um, so the, a little bit about flashlights. Some of you guys may be like, okay, well, never heard of these guys. They're the first ones going on today. Uh, they're out of Texas. I get it. Okay. Um, started this company in my garage. Uh, just me, I was working construction, kind of started building lights for my bow fishing boat because uh, the halogens were terrible and um, ordered some parts from China, didn't like them, did what I called Frankensteining, put these back over here, put them on my boat, sold the other ones that I made, next thing you know, I just doubled my money and I had lights on my boat, just kept doing that. And uh, when I see a problem, we see a need, we, we fix it. If there's something that um, we don't like about a design, we fix it. And that was in the beginning. Now, we've kind of grown so much that we've got engineers, we've got uh, industrial design teams, and so we're, we're getting ahead of the curve and we're fixing things like with carbon fiber. So ever uh, you have a, a concern or an issue or uh, feedback that you want to give us, we're more than happy, more than receptive. Please give it to us. Um, we want to know that it's an easy install, that we do everything that we can to, to make it right. So um, with my name being on every light, that's where the lifetime warranty comes in. If you come back five years later, you're not happy with this light. Man, it just fell apart on me. I don't know. It was working fine. Well, yeah, it looked like it was working fine. I mean, I'm not going to tell you no. Uh, and we, we started off with a one-year warranty, then it was a two-year I'm like, I've never turned anybody away for a true warranty. So why don't we just tell them it's a lifetime warranty? Because that's what it is. So um, that's the, the lifetime warranty. Obviously, if you hit it with a sledgehammer or throw it off a mountain, that's not covered. I told you guys we're located here in Dickinson. We have nine employees. That's it. This is, this is it. Uh, hustling, trying to make the, the best products that we can. Uh, so we're, we're grateful for this little bit of time CED gave us and trying to give you guys the best products that, that we can give you. So we appreciate your time. If you have any questions, shoot us an email. We'll be in the chat rooms. Thank you.